Objective is updated. Oh, about to get shot. The roof's protection is going to protect you from getting shot. Oh, this is her actual study. Yeah, wait, where did we come from? Her room. But from where we were on the other side? Yeah. I got turned around too. Research journal, yeah! Today I met with Impa of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Robbie, other respected members of her tribe. To dump, tomorrow I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the Guidance Stones. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the Guidance Stone. It is a rectangular object, small enough to be held in two hands. Sheikah text is featured prominently on it. It is made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrine scattered across each region. Impa proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Sheikah Slate. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Sheikah tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight I thought I could win. We did it. We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing images, perfect likenesses of the things you pointed at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of Sheikah technology, still I know there is more to learn, there must be. We believe the Sheikah slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research and quickly. We've started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Urbosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the rising calamity. Robbie has restored mobility to many of the Guardians we've excavated, but we have still yet to find all of the Guardians. Records mention a, great, a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is... No matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and to only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that there are uh, facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? That is purest theory, and I concur, and yet my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the Calamity. We must not give up, no matter what. I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It, is also, uh, it also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. So we, you know, we learned a lot there. Yeah. There's a lot to um, gather. Uh, I am... battle than this. Um, you know, we talk about the shrine. Oh, it's not. Oh, because we're in the, that's, yeah, I get it. Is there anything up? Or? No? Magnesis? I don't know. No. No. So we came from this side. Yeah. All right. That's her room. So at this point... See, I thought I'd find the experience chest here, because it was, like, second floor, and, like, this is up from where the other stuff was. Yeah, I don't know where... Yeah, I don't either. ...it is. And there there might even be other stuff in the castle, but yeah. I'm not sure um, where it is. But I do know that we need to see Impa. Yeah. Um, so, like, I can set a... Let's see, where else? Yeah, look at the map here. Where am I? 
So we've been up through all of that, right? Yeah. We've seen just about everything, I think. Besides, like, up further. Where the orange glowy ball of yeah, okay. destiny is. I set the, um, I set the marker up by the gate. Yeah. So, like, yeah. that's You did. Good. It's fine. Um, I want to go back to, so I'm just going to hit leave area. Yeah. It's the sound of me, um. Swooping? That's yeah. Okay. I drooped. Uh, now I'll go uh, to Impa and be like, "Yo, we did it. We found all We've these remembered memories. everything. We remembered everything. Remember those pictures you told me to get like a year ago? Yeah, I've been taking my time, but I got there. Okay. Now before I get shot again, uh, Impa lives over here. That's where Impa lives. Badoop boop. Be a little more convenient if instead of leaving area, you could just swap to the overworld map. Yeah. It's fine. Fine. It's Wildlife fine. taking shelter under a rock. Koroks? Frogs? Yeah. There's been frogs under under rocks. Sometimes other stuff, but mostly the, what I remember is frogs. Anyway, Talonig Shrine. Uh, where direction? I should have done that differently. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You've made it. Thanks. Ma Master Link, whatever is the matter at this hour, dark magic preys upon the land when darkness falls. I promise to take care. I just wanted to talk to you. It's getting in. Getting in some brownie points. I'm back. Hi, it's been a while. Oh. Well, well, you've returned. What is it? <laughs> no. All 12 pictures already? already? It's only been a year. You visited every place. Oh. Mm, then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. Here is what happened. Funk. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. This is the final picture. Does it look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in a half day's time. Now go, child. Seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. Didn't we actually mark this on the map? We did. Oh, okay. But if you look at it... Yeah. Let me let me get a better, better picture here. Like, it looks like there's a Those horse are... stable to the left. It does? Yeah, in the fog. Isn't that the head up there that's tall to the left? You see a horse stable? Yeah, because it's kind of got this... What are you... Higher. Or is that a what? mountain peak? Anyway. Yeah, um, this looks to me like that area where everything is, like, all destroyed. Yeah. We've been there a few times, actually. Yeah. I couldn't tell you exactly where that was on the map, but I actually can because we actually marked it down. Oh, no. Uh, it's this, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if this is what I'm thinking of. Looks like we've only been through here once. Alright. I'll see it when I get there and, they, and then, you know, I'll, I'll see if it's what I was thinking of. The place I was thinking of, we've been through more than once. We left Kepi there once for a long, long time. So I don't think this is the same place. But I guess it makes sense that in the world there would be multiple locations where there's just lots of body parts. You know, like, there's yeah. been destruction on a massive scale in multiple places because, of course, there has. It's been a war. Uh, okay. Listen, Yiga Clan. 
that shrine only recently started going, but it's been there for something like 10,000 years. It sometimes feels like there's a shrine sleeping behind every hill, so there's so many of them. Archaeologists get pretty fired up hunting down each one of them, but I haven't got time for mystery. Still looking at that glowing light, you do start to see something romantic about the whole endeavor. Yiga! Maybe not Yiga. Uh, okay, so just head towards that thing. Um, Can't be. Motorcycle? Magical Kepi. I'll take you away from the scary place that you were before. Oh yeah, that's right. You only have the two spurs. I forgot. Oh my god, what has gone wrong? There's a rock. It scared Magical Kepi. Oh, this is really close. Oh my goodness, this is actually where we got Kepi. What's that yellow pillar? Is that where it is? Is that where it is? What is that? I don't know. Should I go see? What is that? I think the meteorite just landed in uh, Earthbound. Okay, I'm actually putting Kepler in a little danger here. Yikes, help! Good luck. Tell you one thing, you just messed up. All right, where was I? It's it, gone now, but it's oh daytime. Oh no! No, it's still there. I still see a faint hint of it. I'm not sure what it is. But... Oh no! This is the place. Fort Hutno. Yeah. No, this is the same place. Yeah. Okay, so I was thinking of the same place. It's wherever. up there. God, please just drive. All right, I'm going up there. I don't know if it's still going to be up there, and I also don't know what it is. Uh, shirtless. One more. There's a Korok puzzle. Doesn't up matter. Here too. Okay, yeah. I'm going. I'm going. This has been a this has been a journey. You can fly back to where we were supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, I know. Please God. I swear. I'm gonna be really Night mad. Time? I'm gonna be really mad. If I came all the way up here, but it was, it was a, there was a big light. Make it nighttime. It's going to be gone. We don't know what it was though. It'll despawn. You're right here. That doesn't matter. It's the game is going to make it nighttime. You don't see anything? No. Oh, for the love of God. You going to sleep? Right when enemies are nearby. <laughs> Will it let me? I don't know. Because I I will absolutely do it. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's gone. Whatever it was. I don't think it's here. Do you think it was a meteorite? It was shark? probably a shooting star. Yeah. It's fine. I'm just mad because I came all the way out here. But it was so far away to begin with. Yeah. All right, where... So the memory's somewhere in there. Somewhere in there? Do we have a direct pinpoint or just like a vague pinpoint? Uh, it's probably marked in a really I'm pretty sure spot. I marked it pretty good with the marker, but okay, I think well then... the marker is gone. The marker's not gone, is it? It is. Oh, the marker's gone. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's kind of centered yeah, through that road. Yeah. yeah. Right in the middle of the yeah, ash swamp. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm not there. What? what? Zoom out. What? See the ash swamp? Yeah. Look, it's like right in the middle of that. So right like here. right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To the left. Yeah, I'm going. That thing? 
Yeah. Okay. It's probably shooting star. It's prob probably shooting star. You know, it's probably it's right here somewhere. Just like Let me just You know, I you know Arbosa's fury is ready. You know, I could have taken a photo of the board, but you know, I, I felt so confident that we had we had it marked down, and now I'm I'm not so sure. Would it show up better at night? Wait, Maybe. is that it? Oh, that's that's dirt. It's actually dirt. Okay, hold on. Great idea. It's a memory which glow. Am I wrong? So let's just let's just take a little snooze until night, and then we'll see it because it'll glow. That yeah. that's really smart. That's like like Nobel Prize right there. So let's now. Oh, now we're gonna spot it. Also, this is much smarter. I should just be riding this. That one's alive. That's great. Also, it's not here. You're not there yet. I am too. I'm right here. I don't... I don't... Oh. Now look towards the stable. <laughs> look towards the stable. Which way's the stable? Right there. See the stable? It has kind of like this little like many thing. I thought that's what I saw in the photo. This is the view, which is facing away from the stable. So, you definitely didn't. But the fact that you knew where it was, and the fact that there was a stable nearby is crazy to me. <gasps> Denny's! <laughs> Specifically Denny Steiner. I'll throw it out. It's Denny's Diner. Which is different from Denny. A lot of people don't know that. I think it's the same place. It's not actually the same. Menus have similarities. There's some difference. Save yourself. Go. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Run. <laughs> also, Link has already clearly killed tons of guardians. Jesus. She could only finally awaken her power once she, you know, had the emotional connection and the worry for Link. Was, was that the power? Or she just really likes Denny's Diner. I don't know. So he must have been hurt before, right? Because, like, she saved him. Why did he fall over? Was he just hurt from all of the previous fighting? Yeah, he had a hard time getting up when that one showed up. The sword. So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Oh, the sword is like a life force indicator. Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Take his sword, though, and take clear? it to the Koroks. So make haste yeah. <laughs> his life is now in your hands. Yeah, that... Yeah, Zelda, that was definitely the opportunity to be like, there are two of you. Can one of you take the sword? And instead it was... I'm gonna put this with Hestu. 
Link. You have recovered all of your memories of us from 100 years ago. It's true. I am here. Inside Hyrule Castle. It is now time for you to defeat Ganon. Okay. Are those book hoblins napping? I'm like having this big moment. <laughs> Link, I am talking to you from the heavens. The book hoblins are like, Stop yelling. Isn't, isn't that the guy? That's the guy, right? Also, you hear that? Because that's, I, I think that's Zelda. I thought Ganon, oh my God, they did it. Like for the past year, they, they've they been working on this and they did it. Oh, shoot. Anyway, I'm going to go back to bed because this is Calamity Ganon's problem now. We started at the Great Fairy Fountain and we immediately warped to uh, Pondo's Lodge nearby because Mal was trying to get a hold of the uh, the dragon. And she did. And then that was that. So then we went up here because we had to get that other dragon. And unfortunately, we got up here and we couldn't get it figured out. Why couldn't we get it figured out? What is happening? Why could we not find the friggin' dragon? And then, of course, once we left the mountaintop, it spawned immediately. And then Mao was able to chase it. And eventually she got the, the horn. Is this you flying to... Oh, yeah. That's where it landed. That's how far away. Yeah, it landed far. Anyway, she went and she got the horn. Cool. Then she needed some bokoblin guts. She came over here because she them. just remembered where they were. And I fought this camp for a little bit. And then I walked over here. And I fought this camp. And I got my guts. And I think I leave. I do. And I go to the desert fairy. Because why not? And we trade in and we upgrade our equipment. And then it's time to go to the castle town. And Mao... Got hit a lot. Experienced combat. I mean, really experienced combat here. It was entertaining, to say the very least. I was thoroughly entertained. And you, you know, you're making your way through Castletown. You found a few, um... Treasure chests. A few treasure chests. Mm -hmm. And then eventually you got on the, the motorcycle, because you're moving much quicker. Quicker. Much more quicker now. Uh, got into the First gatehouse, gatehouse, and you fought the Lionel. You did good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we started walking around, and we start by making our way to on the outskirts. I get to the second gatehouse, and I had to fight the Lionel in there. We do see a little bit. And then eventually, he's dead. We made our way completely on the outside first, and then we start going inside. Mm -hmm. And this is the inside. And then at this point... I mean, we're just kind of all over. Yeah. Like, there, there, and there's a lot of backtracking, but just basically trying to figure out every little thing that we can find. Uh, we missed at least one DLC chest, but to be fair, things were hard to find. Mm -hmm. It's a very confusing layout, and we did the best we could. But eventually, we got the memory, and then we head back to Impa, and we're like, hey, Impa. What do we do? And she's like, there's another memory. And we're like, ah, we know. And then we chased a thing that wasn't a thing, which was very upsetting. And then we got the memory. And that's where we are now. Mm -hmm.